All right. The aim of this problem is uh, to determine the standard enthalpy of neutralization. So it says calculate the standard enthalpy of neutralization of ethanoic acid if 25 cm cube of one molar ethanoic acid and 25 cm cube of one molar NaOH are mixed together and the temperature rise recorded is 6.2 degrees Celsius. And here are some important assumptions. You need to assume that the specific heat capacity of this solution, acid and alkali solution, can be considered to be same as that of water, 4.2 kilojoules per kilogram per degree Celsius. And the second assumption that we need to make is the density of the resulting mixture is same as that of water, which is 1 gram per cm cube. So our goal is to determine the standard enthalpy of neutralization. So let's write down what is given to us here. So we need to calculate the standard enthalpy of neutralization. That's our goal. And uh, excuse me. So first you need to calculate the heat energy change, which is Q. So as you all know, Q equals to mass times mass of the solution here times the specific heat capacity C times the change in temperature delta T. So mass here refers to the ma total mass of the mixture, so which is uh, 25 plus 25 cm cube, which is uh, 50 cm cube. Since we are assuming density as 1 gram per cm cube, we can assume this as 50 grams. So the assumption that we are making here is since density equals to 1 gram per cm cube, mass equals to volume. So we have figured out the mass and uh, C is given to us which is 4.18 uh, kilojoules per kilogram per degree Celsius. So it's very critical. So here our C value is in kilojoules per kilogram. Whereas our mass is in gram. So we'll, we'll talk about that. And delta T is the change in temperature. It's given to you. It's pretty straightforward. 6.2 degrees Celsius. So we need to plug these three values here but we cannot plug the mass as 50 grams because your C value is in kilojoules per kilogram. So we need to convert the mass in grams to kilograms. So that is 50 divided by a thousand which is 0 0.05 kg. Right? So the mass and the C units should be compatible. So now we can plug in the mass is 0 0.05 kg and the C value is 4.18 kilojoule per kilogram degree Celsius times delta T which is 6.2 degree Celsius. So the degree Celsius in the numerator and the degree Celsius in the denominator cancels out and the kilogram in the numerator, kilogram in the denominator cancel out. So what is remaining is kilojoules. So our heat energy would be approximately 1.29 kilojoules. That's still three significant figures. So we figured out uh, the heat energy Q. But now we need to determine the standard enthalpy or the enthalpy of neutralization for one mole. So this is what standard enthalpy means. So if you have uh, hydrogen ions from the acids reacting with hydroxide ions from the alkali, they combine together to form one mole of water, which is a liquid at room temperature. So the enthalpy change corresponding to this reaction is referred to as that is the theta, by the way, neutralization. So I can just abbreviate it as NUT. 
So we have to determine this enthal molar enthalpy or standard enthalpy of neutralization, delta H theta. So let's do that here. So to determine delta H theta, we have to divide Q by the number of moles of the limiting reactant. So this is moles of limiting reactant. So we know from the above calculation 1.29 is our Q or heat energy change 1.29 kilojoules and N is the number of moles of the limiting reactant so we have to figure that out here so let's do a simple calculation so the moles of ethanoic acid N would be N ethanoic acid would be CV, concentration times volume. So the concentration of ethanoic acid is one mole per dm cube, or one molar, times volume is uh, 0 0.025 dm cube. I converted cm cube to dm cubed. So that would be 0 0.025 mole. So if I do the same thing for the number of moles of NaOH, let's do that here, number of moles of NaOH, it's CV again, CV, and the concentration is one molar, and the volume is 25 milliliters, which translates to 0 0.025 dm cubed. So the moles is 0 0.025 mole. So the number of moles of NaOH and the number of moles of ethanoic acid, they're the same. So they're equally limiting. So in this equation, delta H theta cube divided by N, usually it's the number of moles of limiting reactants. Since they're equally limiting, the acid and the alkali, I can plug any of these values. So it'll be 0 0.025 mole. So since this is an exothermic reaction, the delta H sign would be negative. So that would be negative 51.6 kilojoule per mole. That much of energy is lost to the surroundings when you have one mole of ethanoic acid reacting with one mole of sodium hydroxide and that makes sense because for a strong acid and strong alkali the value is somewhere between negative 57 and negative 58 so that negative 57 to negative 58 is the molar enthalpy change of neutralization for a strong acid and strong alkali but we have a weak acid and a strong alkali so it would be slightly less energy that would be lost to the surroundings so I think this value makes sense